This right here, this is a revolution. By being in control, I assert my dominance and I make more money. Not here to make you fans happy. No this wrestling would be nowhere if it wasn't for me. It's a revolution, people. And if you don't like it, touch it. I can guarantee you we're going to make a hell of an impact. We're going to show you who's in control, as if we're not already. Our truth moments away from defeating the X Division champion and winning the title. But my god, it's Michaels! He's back and he's attacking our commissioner! And it's Ares who sneaks up behind him for the win! Shawn Michaels getting under the skin of the NWO after he was assaulted last week! And now this master crown, the number 30 engine for the Rumble, has descended into chaos! Get back at me by ruining my show, interrupting my matches. You want to get my attention, Undertaker? Here you go, you've got my attention! We're going to have ourselves a triple threat matchup. CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy versus The Undertaker. But the man who is pinned is going to be number one. And now, this has got to be the most shocking decision I've ever seen. Shawn Michaels and Triple H are back together, but they are not friends. You can already see the animosity between them and the NWO thriving off this. Can DX cooperate in order to take down the NWO? Bearing in mind the Rumble's a few weeks away. The world champion! Do you have a problem with what you see in this ring right now? Somebody obviously has a problem. Sting is about to make his way to the ring. And this over-the-top celebration is being destroyed. Sting just ripping apart the set. And now that trophy just being smashed to pieces. Sting wants his rematch. He hasn't forgiven AJ Styles for cashing him money in the bank on him last week. And Sting wants to reclaim the world title. AJ Styles is in one hell of a predicament. And can the king of NLW supposedly overcome the odds? episode away from the Royal Rumble and things are starting to pick up in a big way here in NLW. You are looking live and tonight rivalries aren't even going to be settled. All they're going to do is going to escalate them as we head into the only second ever Royal Rumble in NLW history. We're going to find out tonight who's going to enter number one in that matchup and plus another blockbuster main event. But first of all, we're going to show you what is happening live here tonight. After The Undertaker interfered in the match to crown a number 30 entrant last week, the Commissioner punished all three men by putting them in a triple threat matchup. Whoever is pinned is going to be number one in the Royal Rumble matchup. And that's not all. We have a huge main event, an all-star matchup. AJ Styles and the NWO team up to take on Sting, DX and Chris Jericho. It's our huge eight-man tag. It's live tonight. Only one episode to go until the Royal Rumble. And you just know that every NLW wrestler in the back there is going to be wanting to gain as much momentum as possible heading in to the Royal Rumble. And the winner of the Royal Rumble could very well go on to face this man at WrestleMania, providing he can hold on to it until WrestleMania, because at the Royal Rumble, we have learned that AJ Styles is going to put the title on the line in a rematch against Sting. And it was announced a few weeks ago, just after Sting came out and destroyed AJ Styles' title celebration, smashing his trophy, his home trophy, to pieces. And with that, Sting made his intentions clear and is going to challenge AJ Styles for the world title at the Royal Rumble. And bearing in mind, it's only a few days away what has AJ Styles got to say about Sting interrupting his title celebration last week and his title match against Sting at the Rumble? Seven long years 
and here I am, World Heavyweight Champion. I want to dedicate this title to you. I would also want to dedicate this title to Sting. Sting, I know you're listening in the back. Would you come out here and share this moment with me, please? Could you just come back? Could you come out here, Sting? Well, Jesus, he's cocky. AJ starts calling out Sting. And I don't know how wise this was. I'm sure AJ Styles saw what we saw last week. The way that Sting menacingly destroyed the set, ripped up all the pictures, all the trophies, and essentially ruined AJ Styles' night last week, but clearly in a sarcastic manner, calling out Sting here tonight, just days before he's scheduled to defend his world title against Sting at the Royal Rumble. Well, last week Sting decided to put an end to AJ Styles gloating and showboating but seems more of the same tonight from AJ what has Sting got to say you got to believe he's going to try and put him in his place here he's got to after seven years is that the legacy that you want to leave behind you know really really AJ what you're saying is I quit that's exactly what you're saying AJ you're quitting on yourself you're quitting on your family, your wife. How about little AJ? You're quitting on him. Hey, now look at me, AJ. You're quitting on me, too. I mean, right now, you're a loser, AJ. Because that's what losers do. They quit. Losers quit. That's what they do. Just out of curiosity, AJ, I gotta ask you, do you think that after 20 years of my being in this business, that it's been a bed of roses for me? Do you think that I have not suffered hardship, AJ? Both professional and personal, AJ? Well, I have. But I didn't quit, AJ. Is this the way you want to be remembered, AJ? For the last, I don't know how many months, I have come out here and talked about how I wanted to bring honor, pride, and respect back into this business. I've been talking about how I wanted somebody, somebody to step up to the plate, AJ, so I could pass the torch to somebody. You're the person. You're the person that I've been talking about all this time. The whole time, it's been you that I've been talking about. You are, no, let me rephrase that. You were, you were the chosen one. But I guess that's not gonna happen now, is it? We could just flush that down the toilet because AJ Styles decided to say goodbye. Is that right, AJ? Before you walk away, AJ, I want you to look at me in the eye, AJ. I want you to say, Sting, I'm a loser! You either do that, you either look at me in the eye and you say that, or you go back there and you put your boots on, lace them up tight, get your head back in the game, and claim what is supposed to be yours! Well, thank God that somebody had the balls to say that to him. AJ Styles, when he first won Money in the Bank, everybody, including myself, believed he was going to be a great world champion. But thus far, he has stabbed everybody in the back to get there. I'm glad that Sting has tried to... Oh, my God! This is exactly what he was talking about. And I genuinely believe for a second that AJ Styles was rethinking his attitude but apparently not a cheap shot with the world title off the skull and Sting giving AJ a reality check before their match at the Royal Rumble but still AJ Styles taking the coward's way out with a cheap shot and proving Sting correct but you know what I'm not like him I'm not like him at all but that's probably why I'm not world champion Styles has done what he needs to do to become world champion and now he needs to do what he needs to do to stay world champion and he may have to do that by facing Sting at the Royal Rumble but talking about the Royal Rumble Undertaker has put himself in a hell of a predicament in fact last week interfering in the match between CM Punk and Jeff Hardy to crown a number 30 for the Royal Rumble trying to get the commissioner's attention after his brother Kane was buried alive a few weeks ago on Metal 
announced tonight the triple threat matchup has been made CM Punk, Jeff Hardy and The Undertaker but this time the man who is pinned is number one in the Royal Rumble and that is a number that nobody wants especially the Phenom and if you're starting the Royal Rumble matchup you've got to have a hell of a lot of endurance and speaking of endurance that is exactly what Mr. Anderson has had to have as of late considering that the 24-7 hardcore rule is in effect and right now tonight he has to put the title on the line against this man Sin Cara and Sin Cara obviously hasn't had much luck as of late lost an arm at X match our last pay-per-view heat wave for the X Division title but tonight maybe going into the Royal Rumble he can pick up a huge victory over Mr. Anderson and win the hardcore title you never know could happen as he poses for this audience but his opponent here tonight is not really 100% especially after being attacked this past week at a bus station I'm not lying that's exactly what happened and now we await the arrival of the NLW Hardcore Champion Mr. Anderson shortly after Heatwave the Commissioner stated that the Hardcore Championship was now to be defended 24 hours a day 7 days a week as long as the referee was present to count the three Mr. Anderson could be pinned at any time and the 24-7 rule is in effect right now we've seen him have to defend it backstage in interview areas at the bus station for God's sake everywhere and last week he finally snapped and he hit every member of the filthy animals with a steel chair and the... Oh, speaking of which... Well, there you see the four members of the filthy animals here. They are not happy after being assorted with chairs by Mr. Anderson last week. And now Sin Cara taking advantage of the distraction and the chair shot. Right to the skull, good grief. Mr. Anderson violated every rule of concussion safety last week with a oh my god what a knee I know he's getting a taste of his own medicine with that knee by Sin Cara last week hitting everybody in sight with a steel chair and now Sin Cara revenge on the cards here is the cross body but a kick up by Mr. Anderson can Sin Cara win the hardcore title tonight he could very well do it but Mr. Anderson he is a tough SOB there is no doubt about it and then you can see Anderson in the ring and a low blow and Mr. Anderson crossed to the outside and he looks as if he wants to leave but again look at that the filthy animals blocking his path and Rey Mysterio saying get back in that ring you coward because last week Mr. Anderson assaulted every member of the filthy animals with steel chair shots and they were vicious folks some of the most vicious chair shots I've ever seen and now you can see Sin Cara getting revenge for them good grief coup de gras to the face and the head that was wedged in that trash can and now Sin Cara doing this in honor of the filthy animals here but four up knuckles upside their head and Anderson stares back at the filthy animals with contempt for blocking his path so Anderson can't escape but at the moment he doesn't need to escape he's got a hold of the mask and now just assaulting Sin Cara here and showing us a sign of the more aggressive side of him that we saw last week and now Sin Cara's down and look at this there is the wood Anderson bringing in the table and Sin Cara barely able to stand of course Mr. Anderson has been on his toes for weeks and even more so after this past week he was assaulted at the bus station by the brood but now hoping to put away Sin Cara here with a high fly maneuver and oh my god sunset flip through the table Sin Cara has it incredibly well scouted and an amazing powerbomb sunset flip combo right through the table and now you gotta wonder what is going through his mind he has the filthy animals cheering him on at ringside the animals want to see Anderson fail after what happens to them and they're going for the swan time but misses holds his back and now that steel chair the rim of it sent right into the kidneys and the ribs and Sin Cara is in trouble now is he's held are we going to see a mic check here but look at this Billy Kidman on the apron but caught out by the animals and Kidman trying to interfere trying to get some sort of revenge but oh my god oh my god One, reverse two, Hurricane Warner three. onto that steel chair and he's won Sikora he's won the title and this is his shock weary 
in shock. Sin Cora is the new NLW Hardcore Champion. And he celebrates with that title. The filthy animals have got more than they bargained for. They have just helped Sin Cara win the title. And in turn, got a major revenge against Mr. Anderson. Well, that was certainly a move to behold. A reverse Hurricane Rana, the back of Anderson's head, hitting the steel of the steel chair, getting a taste of his own medicine from last week when he assaulted the filthy animals with chair shots. But now, they hold Sin Cara high. Have the filthy animals found a new recruit who's just given them the hardcore title? They celebrate with Sin Cara. Mr. Anderson, he can't believe it. He's only held the title for a few weeks. And that just goes to show you that this 24-7 rule has really gotten inside of his head because now he has lost the hardcore title just days before the Royal Rumble. Sin Cara is our new champion. In what was the second most viewed event in NLW history, the Royal Rumble will return. 30 men will enter the ring for an over-the-top road battle royal, but there can only be one winner. Who is going to go on to challenge the World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 2? The stakes have never been higher. This is one to remember. Who will fulfill their destiny and win the 30-man Royal Rumble? Who will be the one? NLW Royal Rumble Live. And it is going to be October the 10th. Mark that date down on your calendars because it's the Royal Rumble and it comes to you live in three weeks' time. And now you hear the chorus of booze. And what the hell, I haven't got this written on my sheet. I haven't got this scheduled tonight, but there you can see the NLW Commissioner, the man who turned back on his morals, turned his back on these fans and has really been abusing his authority as of late. And with the Royal Rumble imminent, what's he got to say? Can you believe it? It's already here. Just one episode to go until the Royal Rumble, yeah! Except you shouldn't really be cheering, because your favourites aren't going to win. Uh, Jeff Hardy, no, not going to win. Uh, Punk, no. Undertaker, no. In fact, they're going to be battling out later, as you know, to see who's going to be number one in the Royal Rumble. See, that's what happens. That's what happens when you cross me. Like I said last week, I'm running this operation now. At the NWO, we're going to continue to grow. And speaking of people who aren't going to win, the man that our troops going to face for the Intercontinental Championship, Chris Jericho, he's not going to win the Royal Rumble. In fact, he's not even going to make it there with his title because our truth is going to beat him. As for D-Generation X, of course, now we know that they're not on the same page. That was evident at this past week on Metal, when they start to shove each other. That doesn't happen in the NWO. We get along. We like each other. And that is why we succeed. But D-Generation X are not like they used to be. They've only got one goal, to take down my NWO. But I've got news for Triple H and Shawn Michaels. That is never gonna happen and I can tell you this as well you two aren't gonna win the Royal Rumble either certainly the NWO have the greatest odds because it's three of them every man for himself doesn't apply to us we work as a cohesive unit and that is why we're gonna succeed and that is why a member of the NWO is winning the Royal Rumble and is going on to Wrestlemania to become world heavyweight champion and tonight our truth Kevin Nash and the Big Show will be teaming with the World Heavyweight Champion AJ Styles, who is only World Champion for the meantime until a member of the NWO wins the Royal Rumble. But still, they're going to team together for the greater good, and they're going to try and defeat the team of Chris Jericho, D-Generation X, and Sting. So keep on slapping your fins together and drooling at the mouth like a seal, having your little fantasies about your favorite NLW wrestler winning the Royal Rumble, because it's not going to be the case. It's simply that. It's a myth. It's a fantasy. It's not going to happen. It's not about the people anymore. I've told you this. It's about money. It's about power. And it's about the NWO. Get that through your fixed goals. And remember, like what I tell you to like, because that's the way wrestling seems to work these days. Thank you, and have a great night.
Well, he's a bastard. I'm sorry, but he is. And you know, this guy, he talks a lot of crap. But will he be able to back it up? That's the question that everybody's going to ask. Is a member of the NWO indeed going to win the Royal Rumble? Or is an NLW wrestler going to fight the odds and win the Rumble? But one of the men who is going to win the Royal Rumble could be one of these three. Jeff Hardy, Undertaker and CM Punk competing in the match that the Commissioner made last week. Whoever's pinned is number one in the Royal Rumble matchup. That is next week.